urgent. The Los Angeles Lakers are about to make a monumental decision that could change everything. Have you ever wondered if the team is going to trade one of its star players? Rumors are in full swing. Connect and Christie could be the key to this big move. What does this mean for the future of the Lakers? And who exactly might be on the way to a new team? Don't miss the details of this exciting story that could redefine the season. Stay tuned to find out what's coming and how it could impact your favorite team. Let's move on to today's news. But first, just check if you're already subscribed to the channel, because the next videos will be a series of content that will help you stay informed about everything related to the Lakers. Turn on the notification bell and select the All option. Once that's done, we'll send you everything last minute that comes out of the Lakers behind the scenes. Lakers fans, we have a goal of likes to reach this video of 110 likes. In the last video, we reached the goal in less than an hour. Prove that you are Lakers fans and leave a like so we can reach this goal soon. Hey guys, Thin Doll Connect was incredible in the Las Vegas Summer League, and he also crushed it in the California Classic, where he averaged 21 points per game. He showed that he knows how to make stitches in several different ways, which is really cool. His game was really impressive. He's not a super playmaker yet, but he's great at passing the ball, finding teammates to pass, and doing lots of other things. That's super important, and I think it's only going to get better and better. Now we need to see how he will do in the NBA, which is the most important basketball league. It will be cool to see how he adapts and excels there. So you're wondering if he'll be able to stand out and feel good on the team? I don't think he will play more than 30 minutes per game, but he could be a very important player. He may play 15 to 20 minutes in each game as part of a group of eight or nine players who will take turns. Taking a look at what Dalton Connect did in the Summer League, he showed that he can be very good, even without playing with stars like LeBron James and Anthony Davis. If he continues to work hard and take advantage of opportunities, he has a good chance of growing and improving a lot throughout the season. So what I want to talk about today is Austin Reeves and whether he will end up getting traded. It appears the Lakers are thinking about this and mentioned it a bit last year. The thing is, Austin Reeves has started playing point guard, but I don't think he's the best at that position. He may struggle to defend fast NBA players, especially in the Western Conference where players are very agile. Furthermore, Austin has a very limited vision of the game and is not a super playmaker. He's good at some things like passing the ball and finding a teammate, but he's not the best at creating incredible plays. He does the basics well, which is important, but he still needs to improve to be a more complete player. He can start the attack and make some plays, but there's something missing in the way he sees the game. Look at some games where D was a point guard, like when LeBron was out and D did a good job. You can tell he's great at anticipating what's going to happen in the game. He looks at what is happening, studies it and understands the possibilities because he has a lot of experience. Austin Reeves does not have this same vision. He can't see plays as clearly and isn't as good at handling pressure, especially on defense. He can improve over time, of course, but right now, that's not what's best for the Lakers. So the Lakers have promising players for the future, like Jalen Hino and Bronny James. At some point, they're going to need these players to play a lot. When we talk about position two, Dalton Connect could even play as a winger, as he is 1.83M, but he does better at position two. That's because many position three players in the NBA are taller between 6'1 and 7'1 and are super athletic. They can shoot well and make incredible plays on their own. In general, many NBA players are this type, and you can think of stars like Anthony Edwards who have these qualities. This is how teams choose their players to ensure they fit in well and bring the best to the team. I think Dalton Connect is like an Austin Reeves, only bigger. With his size, he can do very well on defense and is also good at making baskets. Max Christie, on the other hand, is more of a position two player than a three position player. So one of these two will end up playing in position three if they develop as expected. Max Christie, for example, has the potential to be a great player both in defense and attack. Last year, he was one of the best defenders, even though he played little. He also made 40% of his three point shots. And at just 21 years old, he still has a lot of growing up to do. So he is a player who can still improve a lot and in the future could be a great starter because of his good defense and versatility. This means that if he does well, you will need to put Dalton Connect at position three and use Max Christie at both position two and position three. Or if it is Austin Reeves, then you will adjust Max Christie's spot. With the size of Dalton Connect, it can adapt well. I'm not saying this has to happen now, but I think eventually there will come a time when all three players won't be able to play together at the same time, 
because they are too good in their positions. So the idea is that Dalton Connect can play at the three position where he feels comfortable. So you would have Max Christie playing at position two and Dalton Connect at position three, and that would work out very well. If you want the team to be really bad and always be in the lottery, then you can play with Austin Reeves. But if Dalton Connect doesn't become an incredible defensive player, which I don't think will happen, he will still be a good player. He will have the speed, versatility, and size that the team needs to defend well. So he could be very useful for the team in the future. When I look at the young Lakers team and see who could be the odd one out if everyone develops well, I think of Austin Reeves. I really like it, but I don't want to change it now. I even thought about trading him for a player like De'Aaron Fox if it would bring a clear improvement to the team. Even though he was critical of Austin Reeves last season, he still performed decently. He scored around 16.5 points and dished out five assists per game, even in a difficult season. So even though he wasn't perfect, he still did a good job. I expected more from Austin Reeves because I saw how he played last year. I thought he should have at least 25 points and five assists per game. And if he had shot 40% or 39% of his threes like he did the year before, he would have accomplished that. I like Austin Reeves and would like him to stay on the team. But eventually there will come a time when we will have to decide between him and Max Christie. I believe that Max Christie has greater potential, especially in defense. Austin Reeves is already close to his maximum, while Max Christie can still improve a lot. Max Christie is still growing as a player because he's a lot younger than Austin Reeves, maybe four years younger. This means that if Max continues to improve over the next three years, he will still be younger than Austin is now. I think Max has much greater potential. Last year, some of the team's best moments were with Max Christie playing, even without Austin Reeves. And even so, the team did very well. We also need to think about the value that each player has. Austin Reeves is our most valuable player for possible trades, so I'm not saying we need to make a decision now. We must wait and see how the Dalton Connect performs in the NBA. If he has difficulties, then yes, we can consider changing a player. But in the future, we may need to make a difficult decision. I think Max Christie and Dalton Connect have the most potential for the team, so they are the ones we will probably keep. Austin Reeves could end up being the player we consider trading. Austin Reeves has the highest trade value right now, so it's good to see how the Dalton Connect develops. But even if all three players have the same value moving forward, I still think Austin Reeves is the one we should consider trading. I really like Max Christie because of his defense, and the Dalton Connect can do many of the same things as the Austin Reeves. In the future, if we keep Dalton and Austin, we will end up with two players who do pretty much the same thing. Therefore, I think that later on, we will need to choose between them. Currently, the problem with D'Lo and Reeves is that they play in similar ways. Sure, they have some differences, but they also have a lot of similarities, just like Connect and Reeves. I believe that sooner or later, we will have to choose between one of the two. For the point guard position, if Jalen Chafino or Bronny James step up, they could step into that role. And we can't forget Maxwell Lewis, who is also on the team. I know he wasn't the best in Summer League, but he's improved a lot compared to last year, and he's still pretty young. If he keeps pushing himself, he could become a great player at the three position. He might be a little like Jared Vanderbilt, but with a stronger offense, even if he might not be as good on defense. But his potential to shine in attack is great. He will grow and develop a lot. And we can't forget Blake Henson. When we look at the young players on the team, it can take a while, maybe up to three years, to see what they can really do. And I'm not saying this needs to happen now, just that it's something to think about in the future. The Lakers seem to view Austin Reeves as a very important player, almost as if he couldn't be traded for anything. They'll probably keep him at least as long as LeBron James is playing for the team and maybe consider trading him after that. But as always, this is something to discuss. I want to know what you think about this. Leave a comment below and tell me, what do you think of the idea that Austin Reeves could be traded in the future? Would you like that or not? Remember, I'm not saying this will happen now, it's just an idea for us to talk about. If a good chance arises and something opens up, then it might be a good idea to take advantage. But ultimately, it depends on what you think and how you feel about it. For example, do you think Max Christie will stand out? What about Dalton Connect? What do you think? I'd love to know your opinion. Leave a comment below and tell me what you think. Thank you for watching this far. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to continue receiving the next content. Access now our playlist that will appear on the screen or in the pinned comment with all the latest news and latest news from the Lakers and stay tuned behind the scenes. Highlights, last minute controversies, transfers, everything about the Los Angeles Lakers team. Until the next video.